This is the last thing anyone wants to see. A holiday tragedy, a fire, a big one, with people escaping within an inch of their lives. Firefighters had to rescue residents of this building in Inwood, including young children. And I heard pop, pop, pop. And it was coming from the radiator, which doesn't work and the nightstand. Lenny Zabninski lives on the first floor of the building here on West 204th Street and Sherman Avenue. He believes the fire started inside his apartment and quickly spread, rising to the top floor. When I looked at the uh, closet, there was flames going to the ceiling. He's in a wheelchair and tells us it was hard for him to get out. I'm going, fire, fire, these people don't understand. It was just around 8.30 Tuesday morning when firefighters responded. They found flames shooting out of windows and were met by dangerous conditions, thick black smoke. At one point, firefighters were able to get everything under control, but hours later, hot pockets of black smoke sent firefighters back in. Due to the intensity of the fire, we had a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, issues with uh, extension, so we're doing some extensive overhauling to make sure that the fire is completely extinguished. It took more than a 100 firefighters and emergency crews to take on this massive fire. It affected this entire building, especially the residents, in disbelief over the damage done. Emotions are running high. Yo estoy de 97 aquí. This woman says in Spanish she lived in the building for many years. She's worried about her neighbors that had to be rushed to a hospital. And this mother says okay, okay. she lost everything. So I live in the shelter for one year, and this is my new apartment, my passport my social security, everything is inside there. But with that feeling of helplessness, there is generosity. The Red Cross is helping families navigate their next steps, including finding a place to stay.